Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Bridget from the South Butler Community Library. I'm glad you could be here with me today. Our story time today is all about flowers. In the springtime, the flowers are starting to grow. Pretty soon we'll see the blossoms. And so today we're going to learn all about flowers. There's lots of different types and we'll learn about the parts of a flower too. But let's start with our hello song. Hi, hello, and how are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Wave to me or someone in your house. Why don't you say hello to me in the comments so I know who's watching. This next song is about the parts of a flower. Now the flower at the very bottom, what's in the dirt? The roots, right? The roots hold the flower in place and it also soaks up the water for the flower and also the nutrients or food from the soil for the flower too. And then we have the stem. The stem is kind of like a straw. It sucks up the water from the roots for the flower. And then we have the leaves. The leaves soak up the sun and make energy for the flower. And at the very top, we have the flower, the bloom itself. So let's try this song about the parts of a flower. And it's to the tune of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Do you know the parts of plants, parts of plants? Do you know the parts of plants, parts of plants? All kinds of plants that grow and grow and grow. Do you know the parts of plants, parts of plants? Now we're going to start with the roots. The roots hold the plants in place, plants in place. The roots hold the plants in place, plants in place. The roots store food and water too. The roots hold the plants in place, plants in place. And next we have the stem. The stem moves water up the plant, up the plant. The stem moves water up the plant, up the plant. The stem brings water to the leaves. The stem moves water up the plant, up the plant. And then we have the leaves. The leaves soak up the sun. The leaves soak up the sun, soak up the sun. The leaves soak up the sun, soak up the sun. The sun helps the plant to grow and grow and grow. The leaves soak up the sun, soak up the sun. And last we have the flower. And the flower will turn into a fruit and make seeds. The flower grows into a fruit, into a fruit. The flower grows into a fruit, into a fruit. Inside the fruit are little tiny seeds. The flower grows into a fruit, into a fruit. For this one, we are going to use a scarf. So if you have a scarf in your house, go ahead and grab it and you can use it for this one. We are going to put it in our hands and make it a ball and see if you can hide it in your two hands like this. Okay, ready? We're going to stick our thumbs up one at a time. This is a green leaf and this is a green leaf and that you see makes two. Here is the bud that makes the flower. Now watch it bloom for you. I have a yellow flower. What color is yours? Let's try it again. Get it in a ball. Ready? Nice and tight. This is a green leaf and this is a green leaf and that you see makes two. Here is the bud that makes the flower. Now watch it bloom for you. How about we do it one more time? in a nice ball. 
There we go, ready? This is a green leaf, and this is a green leaf, and that you see makes two. Here is the bud that makes the flower. Now watch it bloom for you. Our story today is called Lola Plants a Garden, and it's by Anna McQuinn, and the illustrator is Rosalind Beardshaw. Remember, the author writes the words, and the illustrator draws the pictures. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Lola plants a garden. Lola loves her book of garden poems. Her favorite poem is the one about Mary Mary. Lola wants to plant a garden. Mommy says there is room near the vegetables. Lola gets books about gardens from the library. She chooses her favorite flowers from the books. Mommy makes a list. They go to the garden store to buy seeds. Lola and Mommy make the garden. The seed packets mark where the flowers are planted. Lola will have to wait a long time for them to grow. Lola makes her own flower book while she waits. Mommy types the Mary Mary poem and Lola glues it in. Lola makes a string of bells. She finds shells and some old beads. She even makes a little Mary Mary. One day, Lola sees tiny green shoots. She pulls up weeds so the shoots can grow. Lola's flowers grow bigger. They open up to the sun. Daddy helps Lola hang her shiny bells. Lola finds Mary Mary a special spot. It's just perfect. Can you see Mary Mary? There she is. Orla, Ben, and Ty are coming to see Lola's garden. Lola and Mommy make cupcakes. Lola wears her flower shirt. Mommy helps Lola with her hair. Lola's friends love everything about her garden. They share the crunchy peas and sweet strawberries that Mommy grew. Then Lola makes up a story about Mary Mary. What kind of garden will Lola plant next? Look at all the beautiful flowers she has growing in her garden. And she has her own poem. Lola Lola Extraordinary, how does your garden grow? with flower seeds and shells and beads and happy friends all in a row. The end. Have you ever planted a garden? What did you plant in it? Did you plant flowers or vegetables? I have a garden and I like to grow roses. Have you ever gone to a greenhouse? A greenhouse is where they grow seeds and plants and flowers. Today, we're going to go to Gumto's greenhouse and see how they grow their plants and flowers. So come along with me and let's go check it out.
Here I am at Gumto's greenhouse. Come with me and let's find out how they grow all these beautiful flowers. Gumto Greenhouses has been a family owned business for 115 years, so they know a thing or two about growing plants. A greenhouse is a building whose walls and roof are made of glass or plastic. During the daytime, the sunlight shines into the greenhouse and warms the plants and air inside. The glass walls and roof of the greenhouse trap the sun's heat so that at nighttime it might be colder outside, but inside stays fairly warm. By using a greenhouse, you can plant earlier than you normally would, even when it's colder weather outside. Here you can see the watering system for the plants in this greenhouse. The hose is hooked up to a pipe and it runs along the roof of the greenhouse. And there are little hoses hanging down that will send out a mist for the plants below. This is the seeding machine. If you look closely at the orange parts, that's where the machine inserts the seeds in rows into the trays of soil. Then the trays are sent on a conveyor belt to be misted with water. They are sent to the germination room where the temperatures are kept very warm and moist until the seeds sprout. They keep track of what types of plants are in the germination room, when they were put in, and when they'll need to be taken out. And here are the young plants in the greenhouse. They are labeled on the edge of each tray with a name of the plant. What three things do flowers need to grow? Sunlight, soil, and water. For these little plants, they need watered every day. Once the plants are big enough, they go through this machine to be put into larger pots with more room to grow. A tray insert is put in the back of the machine and it gets filled with dirt. Then this part of the machine will press down the soil. A press is used to make rows of holes where the plants will be placed. Workers sitting on the stools will take the sprouted plants and put them into each hole. Then the machine places tags by each plant. They go through the watering section of the conveyor belt and then they're placed onto carts to be taken out to the greenhouse. Each plant has a special tag. On the front, it tells you the name of the plant. And if you look on the back, it tells you how to take care of the plant, how tall it will grow, whether it likes to be planted in the sun or the shade, how to keep it watered, and how to feed it. Check out this giant wall of tags that they use for all the plants here at the greenhouse. They have so many different kinds of flowers. Let's take a look at some different kinds of flowers and let me know which one is your favorite. 
These are Gerber daisies. They come in a lot of different colors. These flowers are called geraniums. Here are some pansies. And if you look closely, they almost look like they have faces. I love the cheerful colors of these marigolds. These pretty flowers are called begonias. And hanging in these baskets are another variety called double begonias. These flowers like to grow in the shade. They're called impatience. These red and purple flowers are called petunias, but they come in a lot of different colors. Orange, yellow, white. There's even some that are striped and spotted. Gum Toes partners with the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy to provide the hanging baskets for the bridges in Pittsburgh. There were a couple of hundred baskets just in this greenhouse. I had a lot of fun checking out all the flowers here at Gumto's greenhouse. Let's head back to the library. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the greenhouse. It was a lot of fun for me, and I loved seeing how the plants and flowers grow. Let's sing a fun song about flowers. We're going to count from one up to 10. All right, so let's count the flowers, ready? One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, 10 flowers in the spring. Let's try that again. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, 10 flowers in the spring. And what do flowers need to grow? Well, you have to plant them in the soil in the dirt, right? But they also need sunshine and they need water. So in the next part of our song, we're going to give them rain and sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they grow up tall. Let's try that again. Give them rain and sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they grow up tall. How about we put it all together? Let's count and then we'll give them rain and sunshine, okay? Let's start with one. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers. Seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, 10 flowers in the spring. Give them rain. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they grow up tall.
Today we're going to be making a flower called a hyacinth out of paper. The materials you'll need are colored construction paper, a pencil, scissors, a ruler, something to roll the paper with, I'm using a skewer, and some tape. Let's get started. Take your paper and fold it in half lengthwise. Take your ruler and draw lines approximately a half inch wide going across the paper, stopping a half inch short of the middle line that you folded. You can make two flowers out of one sheet of construction paper. I'm just going to make one for now, so I'm going to cut my paper in half along the folded line. If you wanted to make two flowers, you could cut the same way on the other side to make your other flower. Cut your strips along the lines that you drew. Now roll up each strip of paper. You can use a pencil for smaller hands or a skewer or something thinner to make tighter petals. To make the stem, cut a triangle out of your green paper. Then roll it up from the largest side to the smallest side and secure it with a piece of tape. Take your strip of petals and tape it to the top of your stem. The petals should be rolling downwards. Wrap your strip of petals down the stem. Secure your flower to the stem with another piece of tape. Cut some leaves out of green paper and attach them to your stem with some tape. Here's my finished paper hyacinth. This would look really pretty displayed in a vase. If you make one, could you show me a picture of it in the comments? I'd love to see. It's time to sing zoom, zoom, zoom. Don't forget when we do the zoom, zoom part to rub your hands together and then climb your fingers aboard the rocket ship. And then we will count down and you can jump up when we say blast off and say blast off really loud. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Let's try 
try it again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! We learned a whole lot about flowers today, didn't we? Make sure the next time you go outside that you keep an eye out for flowers that you see around you. Let's sing our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. We had fun. It's story time. It's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next week. I'll see you all next week. I'll see you all next week. Story time, I'll see you all next week. I hope I'll see everyone at story time next week. Bye, everyone.